We begin this half hour with the investigation into yet another driver accused of letting their road rage turn into actual violence. Yeah, the latest incident happened on I-95 in South Philadelphia last night, and that's where we find Action News' Walter Perez with details on this latest incident. Walter. That's right, Brian and Sarah. Just imagine going down I-95 as bullets start piercing your vehicle. That's exactly what happened last night. In fact, it's the second such incident on 90, 95 over the past eight days. Pennsylvania State Police investigators are describing the incident that ended with this SUV with several bullet holes as yet another case of road rage. It happened last night on I-95 North in South Philadelphia. Investigators say a man driving an older model Volvo Coupe opened fire on this vehicle, also going north on 95, right around 9 o'clock p.m. The victim was actually grazed in the arm by one of those bullets, quickly got off the highway, stopped on Island Avenue, and called police. The victim is expected to be okay. The gunman remains on the loose tonight. Commuters we spoke with today say this really needs to stop. This generation is just unbelievable, man. I mean, I fear for the, you know, the youth under us, and I hope in the future it just gets better and stay positive, you know. These guys nowadays, man, they just, they don't care. It was just last week when a minivan on I-95 North was also riddled with bullets. That shooting taking place in broad daylight right around 1.30 p.m. The victim says a man riding a motorcycle simply rode by, pulled out a firearm, and opened fire. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Meanwhile, fellow commuters say they're not sure what the answer is. I think that uh, people uh, have a different type of attitude today than they did before. Uh, I think that um, it's, just, it's not a good thing. Be very cautious. Just let, them, just let them cut you off. It's not worth it. Don't even hit the horn. I mean, we're at that point right now. Don't even hit the horn. I do it at my job with my truck, and I do it at home. Now, if you believe you witnessed either one of these shootings, you're asked to contact Pennsylvania State Police. Reporting live from Southwest Philadelphia, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah?